This is a flowchart of a 250 ton per hour rock gold processing plant, raw material feeding and the primary crushing stage. The process starts with the raw material feeding hopper, where materials enter the system from here, and the vibrating feeder is responsible for conveying the raw materials uniformly and continuously to the subsequent equipment, providing a stable material supply for the subsequent crushing process. Then the materials enter the jaw crusher, which is a primary crushing equipment. It crushes large pieces of raw materials into relatively smaller particles by means of the extrusion of jaw plates, completing the preliminary volume reduction, crushing and preparing for more refined processing in the subsequent steps. Secondary crushing and conveying stage. The material crushed by the jaw crusher is transported to the cone crusher for crushing and then sent to two vibrating screens to be screened into three different particle sizes, 0 to 12 millimeters, 12 to 35 millimeters, and larger than 35 millimeters. 0 to 12 millimeter materials are transported to the fine ore bin. 12 to 35 millimeter materials are transported to two units of double roller crushers and materials larger than 35 millimeters are transported to another cone crusher. Crushed materials from all crushers fall to a belt conveyor underneath and are sent to vibrating screens. Electromagnetic vibrating feeders under the fine ore bin ensure the orderly transfer of materials to ball mills. The grounded materials from ball mills are sent to centrifugal concentrators by slurry pumps. Centrifugal concentrators use the principle of centrifugal force to separate useful minerals and gangway in the materials, achieving the enrichment of useful minerals and increasing the content of useful components in the materials. Concentrates from centrifugal concentrators are sent to shaking tables for upgrading the gold purity. Tailings from centrifugal concentrators flow to sluice boxes to recover gold from tailings. After that, the tailing materials may enter the spiral dewatering machine and dewatering screen to remove water from the tailings.